Hi, my name is Rakia, and I want to share with you how the anointing has changed my life. I grew up with a Christian, a Christian family, um, both of my parents and my two older sisters. We grew up in a Christian home, and we were raised in a church. But, you know, my parents, they raised me, and they, uh, they kept me in a sheltered life. And so when I went to college, I just ended up saying I want to be free. And I ended up hanging out with my friends. I ended up going out drinking and going to parties, going to the clubs, and just thinking what I thought was having a fun time and having a great time in my life. I ended up getting pregnant, and I ended up getting married at the age of 22. After raising three children, I ended up getting a divorce, and um, that was one of the darkest times of my life because um, I was, not only was I so hurt and broken, but I also had to, uh, I saw my children and they were just so hurt and broken as well and I had to figure out how can I help them get through this too. And so I just cried out to God. I said, Lord, I said, please help me. I said, I don't wanna be in this situation and I'm so sorry that I got myself in this situation. And I just cried out to the Lord and I repented to him. And I said, Lord, you know, please give me a second chance because I wanna be able to be married again. And two years later, I ended up getting married. I ended up met my wonderful husband, Michael Baker, and uh, we ended up getting married, and we just started living our life for Christ. And, um, you know, a little while longer, we, we figured out we wanted to go deeper. We wanted more of the anointing of God in our lives. And so we then, we just repented, and we asked God to forgive us for living a lukewarm life, even so then. And uh, we got baptized in the Holy Spirit and fire. And we were just on fire from that point on. We came back here, and we just started praying like we never prayed before. We started worshiping like we never worshiped before. We started giving like we We've never given before and we started fasting like we've never fasted before and so we started living a fasted life and then we went on a 21 day fast and during that 21 day fast I had no food I only communion every day and on the 15th day of that fast the manifest and tangible presence of the Lord showed up in our room I felt electricity from the soles of my feet and it moved all the way up into the top of my head and I've never experienced that before, but that was the anointing of God in our lives. And from that day, that day on, we decided to go out and we were praying for people in the streets. We didn't even know. We started laying hands on people and they were getting healed. I mean, they were being recovered and that's how we got hooked up with River Church. And so we've been here ever since and we haven't stopped. We continue to speak with people. We continue to share the gospel with people, lay our hands on the sick and see people recovered. And it's so amazing what God has been doing. And so a scripture came to me it was from my grandfather and he uh, wanted to instill this into our family and it was Matthew 6 33 it was but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you today I just want to encourage you if you want the the anointing of God if you want more of the presence of God if you want more of the anointing in your life all you have to do is seek God first seek his kingdom first and ask him say God I want more of your presence I want, I'm so hungry for you and guess what he will not refuse you. That is one prayer and request that he will not deny. If my children tell me, mom, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make sure that they're full and that they're filled. I'm gonna bless them. And so that's the same thing with our Heavenly Father. He wants to bless you and he wants to fill you. So my prayer today for you is to be filled, be filled with the Holy Spirit and the presence of God. And I ask that you will receive a fresh anointing from the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.